the my pillow guy and ben carson are creating a vaccine for covid <laughs> This is America. <laughs> you know, Ben Carson um, was a hero of ours. Uh, I remember my my father um, started the first federally funded uh, health center um, in Western Massachusetts. It's now called Caring Health Center. Actually, the executive director now is my first cousin, Tanya Barber. And at his annual meeting one year, he had Dr. Ben Carson come. Um, we had read uh, the book Gifted Hands. Um, we had been awed by his life story. Uh, and one of the biggest disappointments of all time was to see and hear Ben Carson kowtow to white supremacy and become a white supremacy apologist. And he could have been that way all the time. But, but when that was revealed that Carson was a coon, that I mean, that was heartbreaking in and of itself. And here's this man who was revered by black people who's standing up calling enslaved Africans immigrants as if they had a as if they came over here on their own volition um, to, to hear this man um, uh, basically give these ahistorical perspectives uh, on slavery and on the black experience in America, knowing where he came from, uh, is 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 sad. But what it really is, it it gives you a, a real indication of the job that white supremacy has done on the minds of black people. That even someone as brilliant as he is, as a neurosurgeon, uh, can be manipulated to buy into. Uh, what white supremacy is selling, it tells you the power of manipulation uh, in this country. And so just to see all of the stuff that Carson does is is just really sad. It's, it's really sad. It is. You know, what's, I think one of the most interesting things about white supremacy is that white people, too, are victims of white supremacy, but they don't know it. Because like all of these people across the country who are poor, who want to identify with Donald Trump so oh, bad? Goodness. They don't. <laughs> Listen, when I see, when I see a Trump sign or a Trump banner on a porch in a trailer park, yep. I'm like, that's a classic example of what white supremacy has done to white folks. What it's basically done is, is it's it's told them that listen, you can be as poor as they are. You can be poorer than they are. Uh, you can be worse off than most black people, but your whiteness elevates you above them. And so what Trump sells to them is, is he resonates with them because of their whiteness, not, that, not because of their economic status. You know, when, 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 when you see trailer trash white folk supporting Trump, you know this whole notion that they supported Trump because of economic reasons is, is garbage. Um, they supported him because he tapped into the base racism that exists within this nation. Um, and, 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 and they've been told that, yes, I can be as poor or poorer than a black person, but at least I'm not black. Yeah. And my whiteness elevates me above them. And I'm going with Trump, the guy who affirms my whiteness. Yeah, and and those false those false beliefs that immigrants and black people are going to take was rightfully yours when they are the ones taking it away from you on a daily basis. Oh yeah, absolutely. Every every single day, and 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 wealthy wealthy white America doesn't care about poor white America. No. Uh, in order in order for capitalism to work, there has to be a lower class um, and they don't care uh, what color that lower class is as long as it sustains their wealth. Um, and these folk really don't understand that if they ever came together with black and brown people, black and brown people, middle class, lower class, white folks um, um, as a block, uh, then it could be a powerful block 
to undo a lot of the damage that has been done by wealthy white America. But it's their whiteness that separates them from us that prevents them from coming together with us. And, that, and that's sad when white supremacy can cause you to vote against your own best interests. I mean, we literally have white folks who are on Obamacare, who, yeah. who, 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 who have pre-existing condition, who have health conditions that are only being treated because they have health care through the Affordable Care Act, who are running around saying yes to Trump to abolish the Affordable Care Act. And I'm like, fool? What you gonna do when they do that? When you can't even afford to buy health insurance, but their whiteness will cause them to vote against their own best interest. It's sickening. 